Biodynamic imaging is a new imaging technology that shines light, as simple as an LED light, on living tissue and can measure how that tissue is responding to a chemotherapeutic. And by just looking at the way that the light scatters off that living tissue, we get a phenomic response of the tissue to an applied therapeutic. Animated Dynamics has developed a biodynamic camera that incorporates our patented biodynamic imaging technology. And this camera uses very low light levels to measure the motion uh, that occurs inside a living tissue. The way that this works is that the light, when it enters into living tissue, it scatters off of uh, anything that's moving. In fact, in living tissue, virtually everything is in motion. And so when the light scatters off of the living tissue and the motions inside the tissue, it picks up a Doppler shift. And this is a lot like uh, what you see on the weather report. Doppler radar is a way of measuring the motion inside of clouds, uh, as well as the three-dimensional shape of clouds. And in fact, our technology is a three-dimensional imaging technology where we're able to go inside the living tissue, measure the motion, and in particular, measure how that motion is responding to an applied therapeutic. From the cellular movement, we produce a digital hologram. Now, a hologram is actually a way of capturing three-dimensional information. So we're able to measure the motion inside of a three-dimensional tissue sample, about a cubic millimeter in size. And so this is really a way of tracking it uh, in time. So three dimensions in time is actually a form of 4D imaging. And so we call this a four-dimensional technology. We're able to create a, an information structure that is like a spectrogram, it's sort of like a voice print. And what we're able to do is to look at how the voice print or how the spectrogram changes in time in response to the drug. And we put that into our uh, proprietary algorithm. And so it can measure very subtle changes in motion, a uh, motion that might be associated with organelle transport, that's a fairly high frequency effect, or very slow motion that might be related to uh, the change in the, in the cell shape, especially when the cells are responding and, and possibly even dying in response to to the applied drug. The biodynamic imaging assay results can be returned to the doctor within 24 hours. It lets the oncologist know how a patient will respond to an applied drug. There have been attempts to test chemotherapeutic response using uh, patient-derived tissues in the past. They would take the biopsy and break it apart and, and grow the cells in an artificial environment, essentially a two-dimensional two environment. The problem with that technology is that, first off, it takes a lot of time. It can take three to four weeks to grow the cells out. Secondly, the cells that grow out may be very, very different from what's in the patient because as soon as you break that tissue apart, uh, the phenotype and even the genotype begins to drift from what, what's in the patient. Because of our fast turnaround time and the ability to look deep within tissue in four dimensions and also maintain the natural microenvironment of the tumor, biodynamic imaging used ex vivo uh, to predict in vivo patient response is highly accurate.